Nice one. Nice to meet you. What's your name again? Spencer. <laughs> Let's do that one more time. I just told you. I'm Chris. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I'm Spencer. What do you do? What's your area of concentration? Graphic design, but also motion design. Just trying to um, be very um, diverse. Well, let's take a look at your work then. But it seems this extreme weather isn't random. A UN report says this is climate change, and things are only going to get worse. you want to do is give people context of the work they're about to see, mm -hmm. your role in the work, and any kind of problems you were trying to solve or a, a message you were trying to communicate. I have no idea what you're trying to do. What you did, if it was a team group project, if you're responsible for the 2D compositing or the entire thing, you would say that this is a montage of work that I've completed here. It's a sample of 2D and 3D animation, some cell, and I'm exploring Cinema 4D as a 3D application as well. Mm -hmm. And it's 45 seconds, and I hope that gives you a taste of the work that I'm that I'm capable of doing. Mm -hmm. You might even talk a little bit about your strengths and weaknesses, and and then you hit play. Okay. Now I know how long it is. I know what I'm looking for. I know how to judge the work. Don't be afraid to alter the footage a little bit more than the way you're doing right now. It feels like you're just painting over it, but you could have maybe cut him out, make the background freeze, or paint over the background and then add cell effects on top. You have to hit that benchmark of the work that we've seen and go beyond that. When I ask you the question of like, what is this for? I don't mean like the tools and techniques that you use. This is going to represent something like this is going to be a, a channel promo or it could be an in-stadium graphic. So mm -hmm. whenever, anytime he scores, you're gonna do something like this. This is the difference between student work and professional work. Professional work has an application, it has a purpose. It's not just about testing a piece of software or trying a technique. Make your work feel like it's there's an application like I've already seen it on TV. I should be able to park the playhead at any point in the frame and find me a good frame that I can print it out and looks like a beautiful poster. This is probably one of your better animations because it, it's adding another story that doesn't exist. He's kissing it and giving it flame. Right. So the way that you interpret that is is how you use animation to tell a part of a story and, and you're exaggerating a moment. So when you turn the ball into a fireball, that was good. It would have been great here when it hit the back of the net if something exploded or the net tore apart or it's such a powerful kick, you know? Mm -hmm. Do you have questions for me? As a motion designer about to graduate, what could help my portfolio, website, or Behance in terms of content or types of work? I want you to focus. I think your area it should be in 2D. Um, 3D is a whole nother beast. Right now, I look at your work and I say, well, he knows the tools, but it's not going to be at a level in which I can plug you into a commercial job. Like your, your tiger, it, it's not a perfect walk cycle and the limbs and the joints don't bend the way they're supposed to. The it's, just, it's, it's jacked up, okay? I'm yeah. just going to say it like the way it is. Oh. Why not just do a 2D paper animated tiger? That's where you should put your creativity and not trying to like render 3D mountains. Because what, you're going to do 3D mountains? You're going to work for Pixar or ILM? No, you're not. Making it real hurts you because we we have Life of Pi and then we have Spencer. It's happening. This is a contraction. It is happening. So you're missing okay. an apostrophe there. That's definitely like not a good thing. This is the sign of an amateur to me. Like you go just go grab some super heavy display typeface and you modify and you don't know exactly what you're doing. Mm -hmm. And it's distracting from the, the, the piece itself. Using a condensed typeface like this makes it really hard to read. Making it white on a white background, it makes it very hard to read. You get to pick the background, you get to pick the typeface. So why would you pick something that makes it hard to read? Pick a much more legible typeface, pick something very sobering, this is a serious message, and then make sure you can read this thing. The surest way to get work is not to do work that looks like student work. Do work that looks like it's it would fit on the company's reel and you'll be safe. All right, 
Uh, I think that's all I have time for, and I hope you found this to be helpful. Awesome. Do you have a business card? Um, I do what not. What kind of me. unprofessional I'm not are you writing here? Come on, you. dude, shame on you! He was very serious and upfront. He was he wasn't passive at all, and I really appreciate that. Um, my focus was really broad, and and it was sort of vague. And he's really helping me be able to focus it on the right aspects that I should be using it on. Spencer, really great guy. I've known him for some time, and he has a long ways to go. And part of his thing is focus. Uh, animation is a very difficult thing to learn, and you can't be doing that kind of on the side. You have to master the work that you're doing.